Hey y'all, what's up peeps? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Get This Since Night 2. Giving you guys the latest and exclusive content on new music, entertainment news, and inspirational quotes by me, The Queen's Back. Tinashe released her new album, 333. It released on August the 6th. And as a Tinashe fan, I am so, like, blown away by this new album. Finally, you get to hear an album review by me. So, um, I will talk to you guys about my favorite standout tracks and overall how I feel about this whole entire project. Tinashe outdid herself. So, I'm going to run down the track list and talk to you guys about my favorite standout tracks. So, let's get it popping as always. So, there are 16 tracks. Number one is Let Go. Number two, I Can See the Future. Number three, X featuring Jeremiah. Number four, Shy Guy. Number five, Bouncing. Number six, Unconditional. Number seven, Angels featuring Kosh Page. Number eight, 333 featuring Absolutely. Number nine, Undo, Back to My Heart. Parentheses featuring Wax Motif. Number 10, Slowly. Number 11, Last Call. Number 12, The Chase. Number 13, Pasadena featuring Buddy. Number 14, Small Reminders. Number 15, Bouncing Part 2. And number 16, It's a Rap featuring Quiet Child and Kazooie. My favorite standout tracks are Let Go, I Can See the Future. X featuring Jeremiah, Bouncing, Unconditional, Three, no, sorry, Undo, Back to My Heart, Parentheses featuring Wax Motif, um, The Chase, Pasadena featuring Buddy, Small Reminders, and It's a Rap featuring Quiet Child and Kazoi. This album, period, is amazing. And it's very cohesive. And what I love about Tinashe is she is a good example of staying true to your artistry and redefining the sound of her music and music in general. This album really did take me on like a mystical, eclectic, um, alternative R&B mixed with hip hop, pop, um, and more of like that really rhythm, blues, and soul. And I feel like Tinashe with this album she really really turned it up a notch you know and I love everything about this album because it's very cohesive the tracks have beautiful transitions where it's like the production has like a lot of that like sound effect um, it has a lot of like that really airy vibe with her singing and her vocals on this new album are amazing because Hinashe can really sing and she really is a very 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 you know really good vocalist because she can pretty much sing about on any track you know and I feel like 333 is pretty much like her like declaration of reclaiming like her artistry but it's pretty much it represents who she is as an artist where she definitely pretty much has a lot of variety she brings out the thrill the excitement um, there are, are like different aspects when it comes to each of these tracks um, she gives you like a tempo vibe she gives you mid tempo vibes she gives you slow tempo vibes and with Tinashe's you know ability to really create a concept from the ground which brings so much authenticity and really her music is definitely like on another level you know and I feel like this album 333 really does pushes her artistry to like new heights and for people who pretty much like I said when it comes to like me being a Tinashe fan you know it's like I have followed her music career since day one um, I've always you know been like wow you know but this chick has always been on the creative side she naturally has it period hands down and I feel like 333 just brings so much of like a new generation of like that revolutionary sound of like R&B, soul, pop, and alternative music mixed with like hip hop. Um, you can't put her in a box. And she is pretty much her own artist. And she definitely made sure that she really, you know, 
captivated with this album you know from like different elements of like it just takes you on like a new chapter of like her you know music career and everything else but hands down Tinashe girl you slayed you snatched Team Tinashe is very proud of you. You keep doing your thing, girl. I love the art cover. Um, it has a lot of, like, gives me gives me some, so much of that real mother nature. Um, more of, like, that really, like, evergreen vibe, goddess type vibe. So, I love it, period. Guys, go check out my Tinashe 333 painting. So, go check that out. I just want to make a tribute with that alongside with the celebration of the album. So yeah, hands down, this is pretty much one of the best innovative albums of 2021. So Tinashe, keep doing your thing, sis. So I'm going to give this album a 5 out of 5. So Team Tinashe, share your thoughts and your opinions. Stay tuned on the next episode of Get to Sense 92. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. Hit that notification button. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay tuned on the next episode of Get to Sense 92. Dragon Ball Z narrated reference. Peace, but by guys exiting out, the Super Saiyans out.